Greetings. In this video, I will retell one of the most famous sagas of the Icelanders, the Laxdiala saga. Almost a thousand years ago, in the west of the land of ice and fire, lived the fairest beauty of Iceland. Her name was Guthrun. Gudrun had a strange dream. In the dream, she had four different treasures, and all were lost in four different ways. The first treasure was a beautiful headdress, but she didn't like it, so she threw it away. The second treasure was a simple silver ring. She liked the ring greatly, yet fell off her hand into the water. The third treasure was the golden ring, but this ring fell as well off her hand and broke into several bloody pieces. The fourth treasure was a golden helmet, but again it was too heavy for her and fell off her head into the water. These treasures were the prophecies of her future husband. At the age of 15, her father married her to a man she did not like. So Gudrun made him buy everything she wanted, purely out of spite. Until one day he slapped her. Gudrun made her husband women's clothes, gathered witnesses, and by that divorced him. The neighbor who helped her became her second husband. They lived happily, but as the prophecy said, the second husband drowned at the sea, and Gudrun was alone again. Time passes, and one day, Gudrun meets Kjartan. Kjartan is the fairest and strongest man of Iceland, and naturally, they both fall in love. Even though Kjartan loved Gudrun dearly, he was young and wanted to go on adventures and become the strongest hero of Iceland. So he asks Gudrun to wait for him for three years. Gudrun asks to join him, but he rejects her, saying that there is no place for her there. And so, Kjartan goes on on his adventure with his foster brother, Boli, his closest friend and the second best at everything after Kjartan. When they travel to Norway, they discover that they cannot come back to Iceland since the king doesn't allow for unbaptized folk to live. Through their adventure, Kjartan meets the king himself in a swimming competition and leaves a great impression, which leads to him becoming a close friend of the king and close to the king's sister as well. Eventually, all the adventurers get baptized in order to come back home, but Kjartan decides to stay. His foster brother Boli delivers the message to Gudrun, which waited for Kjartan's return. Boli was secretly in love with her, uses this opportunity and offers her to marry her. She rejects him at first, but later is pressured by her family to marry him. And they do live a good life. Another year passes and Kjartan finally comes back and finds out that Gudrun is already married. Spite begins to grow between the two households. Gifts are refused, important items disappear, humiliating acts are shown towards them, and so Gudrun decides that she had enough and she encourages Boli to kill Kjartan. 
Poli and Gudrun's brothers ambush Kjartan and a great fight begins. They both fight well and strong until Kjartan gets exhausted. He cast his sword aside and asked for Boli to kill him. He says that he preferred it that way and doesn't want to kill his best friend. Boli deals the final blow and he falls to his knees. He cradles Kjartan in his arms and cries in agony. When Boli returns home, Gudrun is pleased at his loyalty. And so time passes by. The father of Kjartan and foster father of Boli dies and Kjartan's mother decides that this is time for her revenge. The mother rides by Boli's and Gudrun's house with her sons and provokes them to kill Boli. At that moment Gudrun was out of the house when she went back home, she saw the men standing outside of their house, all filled with blood. She asked, what happened? One of the men wiped his bloody spear on her dress and told her that his own death lies under the end of that shawl. Her fourth husband was a wealthy man, but as the prophecy told, he too round to death. Years later, close to her death, her son asked her which of the husbands did she love the most. Gudrun answers, I was worst to the one I loved the most.